Hello everyone. I'm so excited because the event hashtag Love Summer Art starts today. And um, when you watch this, I've update uploaded my video. And um, if you haven't heard about that, it is um, started by um, Cinnamon um, Cinnamon Cooney is her name. Cinnamon, I always forget the the surname. Um, it's actually a real name. So, and she is um, Art Sherpa on on video on YouTube. So she started a group that calls YouTube Channel Art and Crafts for content creators um, on Facebook. And everyone, she invited everyone who's making videos on on YouTube art related videos craft related videos to join the group to take part in this hashtag event she will do every month this month this theme is hashtag love some art so that means every time you're putting in the search bar in hashtag love some art all the videos from all the YouTubers that are taking part will show up. That will be massive. And you can watch videos um, until your eyes are getting angled or it must be absolutely fantastic. I'm so looking forward to that. And I'm happy to be part of this. So this time I will show you a classic art journal page. I haven't done a classic one for a while. So I'm using um, one of my gesso transfer pages I prepared earlier. I've done a video before, two videos earlier, I think, with step-by-step -step, uh, gesso transfer. Um, I explain it step-by-step -step and you can watch it. And I've done three of them and here I'm using the second page. So the gesso transfer is already on, the image is already on and I'm starting from there and going on. So I hope you have a lot of fun, enjoy it and enjoy all the other videos you can see and you can watch. So have fun. I will see you now with my video. Enjoy it. See you then. Okay, here we go. This is the bird, uh, the image I, I transferred with gesso and the background I gessoed on prepared everything with gesso. Now you can see me drawing. I wanted to draw a jetty. Um, the dimension weren't quite right so uh, removed it and started again. Um, for your information the bird has still all the rubber cement on. I will rub that off later so I'm much happier. This will be or is the napkin I will use for that page. Um, I will put it down with Mod Podge and I don't know when if you have done that before with Mod Podge be very careful with this it is sensitive so go um, over it on top very carefully here I cut a V shape for the beak I want to keep that off the beak and um, of course give uh, the drawing a quick outlining again on top of the napkin it was uh, covered up by that and then I put a good layer on gesso on top of that that the paint on top will uh, be more pink so and I'm trying to get the background as yeah as similar as possible to the existing background on the napkin and I put down first a huge amount of uh, gesso and then I'm working with a lot of different blues with the dark Prussian blues with middle blues ultramarine blues and again always again with white and gesso and white and gesso and at some stage I was happy with that you can't read when you see the close-ups you will see there is a difference of course but from the distance it's sort of great and here, of course, um, I need a background and I go with a um, little blue bit of white, but not a lot because um, it's under the bird and in the background it should be a bit darker, I thought. 
Um, so now with the jetty, the wood, I use three different brown um, um, shades. And uh, first, it's oh, the first layer I think was a uh, burnt sienna, and uh, this this light one that actually called what is it called? What does it call? Indian yellow. It's not really yellow. It's a yeah brownish thing, very light brownish. And on top of that, for shading, I I use burnt umber. But only the three brown shades. Yeah, this is the the burnt umber on, on the bottom what I'm using now and I'm trying to shade the pole in a bit and I use it afterwards under the bird of course as you can see me doing here ah that will change a few times <laughs> you will see and um, I think that's it uh, of course not, a bit of shading here in the front and then I'm going on with my uh, pit pens, the big brush to get even more shading. I, I quite like to use them on acrylics. They stay wet for a while and you can shift them, you can wipe them, smear them with your fingers and um, or use even a brush with a bit of water to uh, blend it out and when it's permanent, no, when it's dry it's permanent and that's a good thing with it, I quite like to use them and when you're quick and you don't like it you can wipe off of the baby wipe quickly and then it will go completely and that's a good thing but you have to be quick then don't let it dry of course that's the first change in the background with the shades for the birds and uh, a bit of blue under the bird for shading. All what I'm doing at the moment is shading, shading, shading. And as I said, I like to do that with the big brush, the uh, pit pens. They are absolutely fantastic. So, and um, a bit of white, of course, to get some reflections. And uh, before I went on, I used, I had some Prussian blue left over, that's what I used for the edges to outline the page. Normally I use blue for that, but this time I thought, mm, don't waste your dark blue. Prussian blue, is, it's quite dark, so it will give a nice contrast. So I thought, better to use that up. And um, this is one of my favorite... Um, script stamps from Kaisercraft and I use archival ink in blue, that's forget-me-not, to uh, do a bit of script stamping in the background. And on the left upper side there, le left upper part, I, I thought that was a bit empty, I needed something and was really desperately looking for some silhouette um, bird shapes. I haven't got some. I thought I had some, so I used this and mask off what I didn't want and uh, that worked quite well. It um, It is not very solid printed, but that doesn't matter. You can always fix that with a black pen and go in. Because it's solid, you can um, easily uh, paint over that. And here I'm removing the rubber cement from that bird and uh, because I was sure I didn't want to work with paint anymore because I wanted to keep the bird completely black and white as the image was I used. And um, this pen I'm using is actually a Uniball Eye in fine. I love that. That's really my favorite pen. It writes over everything, almost everything. And you need to give it a bit of a time to dry or go over with your heat gun, but it dries permanently then. And I use it to have this sketchy lines um, around all this outline, all these uh, objects, that the lighthouse, the bird, and all the jetty and the little boats there. And a bit more shading with a darker blue. And um, I thought that needed a bit darker stuff. 
and this is the black one and that's the last bit of shading I do there under the bird. I was much more pleased with that result and um, I'm going on with my sharpie, bit of reflection for the birds and um, I think I will do some shading here and there. Uh, that's the next thing with the darker blue at the lighthouse. And I think that's it shading wise. Oh, this is actually, um, I wanted to, to give this a bit of a, yeah, separation that the, the round pole is a bit just, um, separated from that um, jetty. And I painted or draw something like a rope. Yeah, it at the end it looks a bit like a rope. Different light browns and then I go over with the Stabilo Ole and activate it with a water tank brush. But I dab a lot off because I only wanted to have a light shadow left. And I hope that looks okay. I think so. So this is um, these are stems I'm using now from um, this grunge stem set from Tim Holtz, pretty old. And um, I'm using for stamping. I'm using acrylics in black and in white. This is um, dots. Then these are um, graffiti numbers. I think yeah. It is. Oh yeah. It's, it is. And these um, grit. I'm using only in the corners. I'm sorry, some of the stuff you really can't see because the page is quite big and I didn't want to go even farther out with the camera. So it's it's really, really difficult to see you then something when you're so far away with the camera. Um, this is an edge stem, um, a zigzag um, a edge stamp and I uh, stamp it a bit on the right and left or well, I thought it gives a bit more interest. Done that a lot in the past with my my art journal pages I've done and yeah, why not? That's a different one, a dotted edge um, stamp next to this. And now I'm I'm starting to sketch around all this um, shapes I made, all the circles in white and in black, and. Um, you're shading a bit of a bit here and sketching a bit there. It's something you know going on, having fun. Uh, small dots, small white dots, into the small black dots, but even smaller white dots. And um, border stamps is done. Yeah, bits and pops. And now this is actually my triple gloss. And I put that on top of the bird to give it a bit of a shine and uh, to protect it actually. Because I will do some uh, splattering as you can see me doing here now. And uh, just in case it would have uh, gone on the bird I can easily wipe it off. So and now you will see a close up. And that's it. At the end you will see some pictures as usual. I hope you like the page. I hope you like the video. If so, it would be nice if you give me this thumb up and um, I say thanks a lot for watching and I hope I will see you with my next video. Might come soon. Who knows? See you then. Bye guys. Have a nice time. Bye bye.